Do you know how to use all the tools in your mass timber tool belt? Let's talk about it today. Well, hey folks, welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. I'm Ricky McLean, and today's video is all about how to sell mass timber to your clients. Now, this is really through the lens of you as a building designer, architect, engineer, or even contractor, really selling the idea of pitching the idea of using mass timber on a specific project to the clients that you're working with, whether those are developers or owners or even other designers. All right, so let's start out by looking at an analogy. I'm going to say that all of the potential benefits of using mass timber construction are like tools available to us in our tool belt. Now, when we're doing a specific job, we have specific tools that we use for that job. Not all tools are helpful, but it is helpful to have a, a wide variety of tools in that tool belt because they're going to come in handy at different times. Now, what are these potential tools? What are the potential benefits of using mass timber construction? Well, certainly one of them that comes to mind is the aesthetic appeal. You know, using mass timber in an exposed timber timber condition could be something where a developer can create their market distinction. Maybe they're in an area of town or city that doesn't have any or many exposed mass timber buildings, and they can really leverage that, use that to their advantage to create market distinction in their portfolio compared to those of other buildings and districts around them. Of course, this also plays into the biophilic aspects of exposing timber construction, healthy buildings. Another potential benefit of using mass timber revolves around the overall building weight or building mass and, and reductions that that can have in foundation requirements, soil remediation, seismic forces, and of course, all of those are directly tied to cost. So reducing building weight oftentimes can result in the reduction of construction cost. Speaking of construction, another potential benefit of using mass timber is reduction in construction schedule, where you're compressing the structural framework aspects of construction. That also has an effect on the follow-on subtrades, where you're now able to get your mechanical subtrades, your plumbing subtrades, your sprinkler subtrades onto the construction site sooner. And of course, all of that construction schedule compression has a direct impact on overall construction schedule general conditions, costs, overhead, all of those things. Using mass timber is also a great way to potentially result in a construction site that's quieter, that's cleaner, that has a smaller crew. Many people right now are looking to mass timber because of its potential in the sustainability realm. It's a material that has the potential to greatly reduce the embodied carbon of the structure and of the overall building. Depending on the site and location, it can also be a potential great way to have a utilization of local resources to improve local forest health by utilizing those forest products in a construction system. All right, so all of these things, aesthetics, construction schedule, crew size, building mass, sustainability, these are all different tools that we have in our tool belts when we're pitching this idea of using mass timber construction. But the key thing to keep in mind here is that not all of those are gonna be applicable on any given project. It's very possible that a developer has a keen sense of awareness or sensitivity to how long is it gonna to take to get this project done. Maybe it's a higher ed project and they need their new student dorm completed by the next fall semester. So their most important driver could be the overall construction schedule versus maybe there's an office building in, in the suburbs and construction schedule isn't as big a concern to them as the overall costs. Maybe there's a mixed use project in a tight urban infill site and they're greatly concerned with having just local available labor to put that project together and or concerns with very high on-site labor costs. So using mass timber is a, is a potential way to solve many of those challenges in one. So my point with all of this is that when looking at one given project, don't just throw all of those potential benefits in and, and hope that one of them sticks. You really need to do your homework, understand what that client is looking for in their project, but also what some of the pinch points have been on previous projects and what they're looking to avoid in their next project. Really leverage Mass Timber's potential to help in those specific regards, hone in on that, focus in on that. And if you're just starting out in terms of your experience level with Mass Timber, understand that it is perfectly acceptable, perfectly fine to borrow those tools, to rent those tools, meaning you may not have those tools that you own in your tool belt to be able to say, on our past Mass Timber project, we realized this leverage the results, the benefits of others mass timber projects and still use those as a potential benefit for your mass timber project to your client. 
Ultimately, as you're able to do that and realize several of your own mass timber projects, you're going to start to own those benefits, own those tools, and really start to sharpen the tools in your mass timber tool belt and be able to leverage them for your next mass timber project. Well, I thank you so much for watching today's video. If you do enjoy these videos, make sure you subscribe on YouTube. We'll see you all next week.